welcome to episode two of Beyond the Trailer. Uh, we have Shane. What's up? We have Eric. Yo. And Brandon. What's up? Okay, so let's get right into it, man. Last week we did boo it or view it or view it or boo it. Yes. And it was horrible bosses. Yes. We all said view it, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I viewed it. Did anyone else view it? I went and yes. saw it. All right. So um, if you liked the first one, it was pretty good, you know, compared to the first one. It was all right, but I don't think it was as good as the first one. What do you think, Eric? Uh, it didn't have the same nostalgic feel as the first one, you know, you're being introduced to these characters, yeah. but from beginning to end, I was laughing, and I think everybody should see the first and second one, and if you recall from last week, there was somebody here that hasn't seen the first one. Yeah! Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, yeah well, well, I failed um, that homework assignment. Thanks. You gave it to me, Eric, to borrow, and I didn't get a chance to watch it. You didn't watch it yet? I Not even the first one? No. Yeah, one wow. job. Yeah. I had one, one job. job, and I failed. Wow, I can't wait till you see the banana scene. <laughs> That's not a spoil. It's just a, just, I can't wait. All right. Yeah, I love that. I love that movie. It was, it was good. It's funny. Oh, my goodness. It, you, now that I think of it, yes. It, it, was, it was just as good yeah. as the first one, so view it. I viewed it. Eric viewed it. I viewed it. You viewed it. Yeah. And I said, oh, no. shame, <laughs> shame on shame. Okay, shame. We're gonna start with you. What's, what's your topic? For? This week is uh, Marvel's Agents of Shield. For this week's episode was the see the episode right before the mid season finale. You saw Sky open up as a real full time uh, Shield agent. She kicked some ass. Nice. Um, went up against Hydra. You find out that uh, the person that was in, uh, impersonating May. Um, has her surgical face like still stuck to it because of when she was electrocuted so it's all scarred up and she can't remove it so oh it's, my like, gosh. it's like a twin of May. But they lead to the city that was uncovered and something happens towards the end. And Please don't not, tell me what that city no, is. No, I won't. But they do, they do mention it was leaked on, or not leaked online, it was officially announced that the blue alien that was in previous episodes was a Kree, right. and they do name them by name the Kree in the episode. That was awesome. Really? Yeah. yeah, first name drop. Yeah, I cannot drop. wait till I get home to watch that yeah. tonight. This is a Kree from the comic books. It's the blue alien that was revealed earlier in the season, and it's finally had its name dropped both uh, out of the TV show officially, and they just mentioned it on this new episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So that's uh, some exciting news because then you find out that this is a Cree city. So Eric, what's up? Uh, lots of stuff is up. Lots of well, stuff. actually somebody's down in the dirt. So I'm going to start off by saying something that the Walking Dead people did not. Spoiler alert to you people on the West Coast. Now, it was the mid-season finale of The Walking Dead, and last week we talked about who we thought was going to die. Now, before the West Coast even got to see the episode, they posted on Facebook, oh, spoiler, 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 spoiler alert, rest in peace, Beth. Now, oh. me, myself, I didn't get a chance to watch it the first time while I was live on TV, <laughs> yeah. so it ruined it for me. So I knew she was going to die before I even watched the episode. Did you have a tear? I, I, even though I knew it was coming, I did have a tear. <laughs> that that moment where she, mm, when Beth dies, uh -huh. I am just so glad. You called it last week, uh, though. He yeah, said he yeah. predicted it. Hold on. He predicted last week that somebody was going to die. Take a look back. You finally see where Beth is. Finally. It's been way too long. They drew, yeah. they drew that out way too far. Yeah, the actress that played Beth, man, she lost it, man. She was balling. Uh -huh. Like crying, not bawling like bawling, Probably. and not bawling like being a pimp. She was literally crying bawling. <laughs> she was. I saw this on Facebook, as well as everybody else on the West Coast before they got a chance to see it. Now, personally, I am very angry with The Walking Dead people, and but I still enjoyed the episode. I'll give them that. I still, you know, a tear came to my eye uh, when Beth died, and it was just beautiful. And I'm just very glad that Daryl was the one to pull this pull the trigger and kill that Katy Perry cop lady. I'm going to talk about the movie Interstellar. Okay. Interstellar is a very smart movie. You almost have to be somewhat nerdy to kind of get a lot of the science behind it, but if you're not, it's still enjoyable. 
It really made you at some point really want to hate uh, the main character. What was his name? I can't. I can't. The, the guy that actor, lied to everyone the, actor, the whole time? No, no, no. The actor, oh, the main Matthew guy. McConaughey? Matthew McConaughey. There was yeah. some points in the movie where you really hate him for leaving his daughter behind. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, because in the oh, end, yeah. spoiler alert, spoiler so, alert. Oh, it's been in the theaters now for four weeks. If you ain't seen it, oh, well. <laughs> so You ain't got to be super smart or even not very knowledgeable about uh, the fifth dimension, uh, time travel, or even space travel. Uh, they, they pretty much dumb the movie down a lot for the average viewer. Not saying that the average viewer is dumb, but you might be. <laughs> <laughs> is it my turn? I think it's your turn. Oh, 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 no. oh, I'm so nervous! Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, so I watched some trailers. We all love trailers. I, it's Shane knows, Eric knows, you know too, Brandon. We go to the movies all the time. I'm oh. always late for the trailers, so I watch them online like most people do. But watching it in the theater is so much better than watching it online because yeah. you got the big ginormous screen. But Jurassic World, did you guys see the trailer to that? Yes. Yeah. What do you guys think of that trailer? When the monorail is going into the park and it opens the gates. Yeah. I didn't like that they used computer animation to to film that because the practical effects from the the original 1994 Jurassic yeah. Park look so much better when they're entering the Jurassic Park. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't I didn't like the CG look of it. I mean the trailer I, well, I liked it I enjoyed it. It was cool, but there was one thing I couldn't get over with. What? They are stupid. <laughs> yeah. Like why are you gonna genetically, genetically alter, alter a, a dinosaur. dinosaur? Like that. I just couldn't get over it. That's what the show's So like. I'll watch the movie, but if there was a real Jurassic World, I'm not going. <laughs> I'm not going. I text Brandon the other day about the Suicide Squad. Yeah. They did it again. Look, they did it with the, the Human Torch. The character was a white character all these years. Not that I have a problem with it, but they turned the Human Torch to a black guy. Are we sure? Because he flames on. Maybe he just burns. And, he's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. and he has a suntan. That could be the case. And now the Suicide Squad news comes out. And well, can you believe Will Smith has signed into yeah, all the... That's that, that what I was surprised about. Yeah, because he passed up the Neil role, yeah. which was crazy. Then he passed up the Django role, which was crazy. So I guess he's like, well, this time I'm not going to pass up my opportunity to be in the Suicide Squad. So, all right, so we were talking about the vision. Uh, how they're pulling the vision out of the comic books because normally when you have a comic book character They change his outfit a little bit, but with the vision he looks exactly almost exactly the same He looks like this in the comics right there and He looks like this in the movies the cinematic universe View it or boo it. We can view it or boo this one. What do you guys think about uh, the vision? They, there's some uh, leaked photos of the Vision and what he's going to look like in the Age of Ultron. Brandon? I love it. All right, Eric? In the Vision, I got to view it. Shane? Definitely view it. View it. I love it. I, I couldn't believe they basically took him off the comic book and just said, ah, and threw him on a screen. And he looks great. <laughs>